Step one, the bass line using the tracio clave. Ba, 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 ba. In every key, starting in C. And we're gonna do it four times in every key. You can do it first, you can do it in root position. So like this. So that's in all 12 keys um, using tracio clave that's in root position now you can take an octave I'm going to take the lowest octave on this instrument which is F to E I'm going to stay within that octave I'm going to use I'm going to go to each key and um, I would I'm going to start with the lowest note in that triad okay so for C the lowest note in this octave from, you can put a piece of paper, let's do this. Put a piece of paper, I can't go above that. You can do this on marimba if you want, on the low end of a five octave or a low end of a, of a four and a third, A to A, A to, actually A to A flat. But do that on, and you can change it. So I can do this octave here, and then I could do like say A to A flat, like I said, A to A flat. Put a piece of paper there and stay within that range. But I'm going to do it like this so you can see. All right, so you can change it up so you can practice different inversions. Okay, so now for C, the lowest note in this octave is G. And then when I go to F, obviously it's F. But when I go to B flat, it's also F. All right, when I go to E flat, it's G. All right? A flat is actually A flat. D flat is F. G flat is here, right? And then B is actually G or F sharp. E is G sharp. And then A is A. D is F sharp. G is G. And then C is G as well. Okay, so let me do that in each key four times each. One, two, three, uh. Think about where you're going next. F. So I got this. I'm thinking about B flat now. Now I'm thinking about E flat. So I'm already ahead of myself. Now A flat. Easy. There's always one note in common by the way. Now D flat. You might get stuck on that one. G flat. B. E. A. That's it. That's the baseline. So practice. You don't have to practice the second one, you know, to go on to the next video, but make sure you can get through all 12 keys 
with root position first, and then you can try that too. It's just, that's lanya, but you should be able to do that if you know your chords, all right? The problem is, when you start improvising, if you want to sound like a beginner, hit the root first. And that's what we do. And when we're doing this drill, if we're always hitting the root first, we, we kind of make that a habit. We don't want to make that a habit, okay? So try those two things and then move on to the next video, which will be comping. All right, comping. We're gonna use all four chord tones in, in seven chords. So we're gonna use play major seven chords. This is a major seven drill with major uh, um, scales, which is gonna come after this. But you gotta know the chord first, arpeggio and the accord. Arpeggio is just a broken chord. So that's an arpeggio of that, okay? So we're gonna start in C major and I'm gonna start in second inversion. You can start in root position, it doesn't matter. Uh, either second inversion or root position. So either the, the fifth on the bottom or the root on the bottom. Okay, C major seven, and these are major sevens. So when you're looking for the seventh, it's just a half step below the root. There's C, half step, right? C, third, fifth, seventh. C, third, fifth, seventh same chord, right? So I'm gonna start here, and when I end up, at the end of this drill, I'm gonna end up an octave lower. That's why I'm starting here, not here, because I would have to make a jump. You can do this on marimba. Do it kind of in the middle register, or upper register, but not the low register. So closed chord, these are closed uh, position chords, and you really don't wanna go below middle C in closed position chords. Anything down here that's closed position gets a little muddy. So on a marimba, you know, once you get below middle C or A, somewhere in there, you wanna open, play open chords. That's why I want you to do this in the mid to upper range of the instrument, preferably on marimba. So you can do dead strokes on this. Okay, so we're gonna do a, a, a comping pattern that will complement this bass pattern. So it goes like this, one, two, one, two, three, and one. Okay, so that's the rhythm, one. N, N, E, N, A, N, N, E, N, A, 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 ba, do, ba, 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 do, ba. All right, now, we're gonna go from C to F. Now what I want you to do is put your mallets on C major seven, you're here, that's fine, whichever way, okay? And then spell an F major seven, F-A-C-E. Do you have any of those notes? Why, yes, I got two of them. So I just need, I need to keep those, the C and the E, and move those to F and A. Okay, put your mallets on those notes. Hold it, hold them down on the bars. Now spell a B flat major seven. That's right, B flat, D, F, A. All right, you have those notes. Any of those notes? Yes, you got two of them. This time in the left hand. We're gonna move the right hand to B flat and D. Okay, four times. Yes, you have two of the notes in the E flat major seven. E flat, G, B flat, D. So I just move my left hand. Now notice there's a pattern. I move my right hand, move my left hand, move my left. So one hand moves Depends on which inversion you start in, but one hand moves, another hand moves. But I'm warning you, I'm warning you, yeah, you, that if you just learn the pattern, you won't learn how to do this. You gotta spell the chord. You really gotta know the chord. So like I was doing, leave the mouse on, spell the chord, and then move to the right notes. Make sure you know what notes you're playing. Or say the chord out loud. I'll do that. So I'm gonna play it once through the circle of force, starting in C, and I'm gonna say the chords out loud when I switch. One, two, a one, two, three, and. I'm moving to F, F, A, C, E. Time. 
time. If you mess up the rhythm, that's okay. A flat. But keep time. A, D flat. G flat. That's it. That's the comping for the major key A2. So we've got bass and do the comping, all right? Melodies next with scales. All right, this is the major key digital riff exercise to go along with the bass part and the comping part and we're just we call it digital riff because we're going to use numbers so numbers of the scale so if you know all your major scales this is a piece of cake all right but here's the rhythm first of all you got to know the rhythm that's the rhythm okay so listen to it again and we're gonna make sure we can clap it together first. Again, just listen. Don't do it. Don't don't clap. Hang on. Wait. Listen. Three, four. Ba ba do ba do ba do ba ba da ba ba di ba di ba di ba. Okay. Now clap it. Two. A one, two. Ready and ba ba do ba do ba do ba ba da ba ba di ba di ba di ba. Okay, one more time. Two, a three and four and ba ba do ba ba do ba ba do ba ba di ba di ba di ba. Okay, so that's the rhythm. Now we're gonna use numbers. We're gonna start with the third. First note you're gonna play is a third of every major scale. So we're starting C. The third is E. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the ninth, which is D. And then we're going to go in thirds down. So the first part of it is this. Thirds down this way. Like this. So listen. Three, four. So I'm back on the third. Okay? So that first lick starts on the third, goes to the ninth, and down, down in thirds, back to the third. Again. Two, three, four. again and play and again a one two three and oops i missed a note if you miss a note you keep going all right now we're going to go up the 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 chord so third fifth seventh and then to the root I'm, so, I'm sorry, not to the root. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Third, fifth, to the root. So we're going to go third, fifth, to the seventh, and play the scale all the way down to the root. That's it. So the last part is third, fifth, seventh, root. Down to the root in a major scale. Okay, that's it. Again, so start on third, go to the seventh, third, blah, 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 blah. third, fifth, seventh, and then scale down to the root. So the whole thing's this. Listen, don't play. Two. Ready and play. And Got it? Now play it with me. Two. In C go N. A 
Again, one, two, ready, go. I don't care if you miss notes. Just remember those uh, scale tones. Okay, now you know where the third is. You know where the ninth is. You come back down to the third. You play the chord tones. You know where those are because we just did them in the we just did them in the in the comping exercise. You play that, bop, bop, and then the scale. And by God, you know your major scales. I hope. So if you know your major scale, this is a piece of cake. Okay, so let's do it in all twelve keys. Here we go. And you might have to jump around a little bit because, you know, I can't, I, I mean, the lowest key I can play it in is F, right? But I'm probably going to play F up here anyway. Here we go. I'll slow it down a little bit. If you want, just listen first, or you can try and play it with me. I'll, I'll shout out the keys when I'm done. And that's another, that's what you should do too. I'm sorry. I'm going to shout the keys. You shout the keys with me, okay? So after each one, ba da ba da ba da ba F! Boom, and then, so F is the key, but you gotta look for the third, third and ninth. So when I'm, next key, I'm looking for the third, and then the note above F, whole step, which is G, that's my ninth. And then I just remember the major scale and the arpeggio. And that's it, piece of cake. Here we go. Okay, this is take two. I took it too fast. It is, it is difficult, so just, I'm going to take it slower. So if you, if you can't get something, slow it down. Break it down. Work on each key individually if you have to, over and over, so you can get it. So that's breaking it down. Slow it down. You know what slow it down means. Slow it down. I'm going to play it slow and go through each key. This is what I want you to eventually get to. All right? And we can play those other ones slow, too. All right? So here we go. All 12 keys. Dunk. Big gong. Go one and two. A one, two, ready, and. Okay, that's it. Um, all right, so the bass, the bass, the comping, and then the digital rip or the, the, the melody, the scales. So I need you to learn all three of those, and then I want to put a band together. 
We're going to put a band together. Somebody playing bass, somebody playing the comping, somebody playing the melody, and then you can have somebody playing percussion. It could be whatever you want, you know, just that's your seal clock. It could be a second line. It, however, it needs to be dynamically appropriate. Can't be a big rock drum set or, you know, Latin drum set that's so loud you don't hear the other instruments. It's got a balance. It's got a groove. All right. So I want y'all to put this together, learn each part, and then put the band together where everybody's playing a separate part, and then you rotate. That's it. And then next week, we'll do dominant sevens and mixolydian scales. So make sure you have this done. Actually, I'll tell you what I want you to do. This is this is this is lanya. I'm not going to require this of you, but record each part and put it together in a video to where you're playing each part: the bass part, the comping part, the solo part, and some percussion. It could be a shaker, it could be drum set, it could be congas, it could be bandero, triangle, anything, whatever you think is appropriate. That would be really cool. See, I'll do some video editing, like real world stuff. Okay, that's it. That's your assignment. Get busy. Bye.